Hey y'all, it is Palm Sunday. I know that most of you know what Palm Sunday is all about. We read about it in the Gospels. It is the account of Jesus' triumphal entry into the city of Jerusalem. I've been honored to make the Palm Sunday walk a number of times. Sometimes when I've taken the walk, it's been warm and sunny. Sometimes it's been cold and rainy. Always it has been with a sense of awe and reverence and imagination trying to imagine what it was like to be going through the throngs of people as they waved the palm branches and shouted Hosanna. If you know the story of Palm Sunday, you also know that things took a pretty dramatic and dire and swift turn shortly after this Palm Sunday walk. We're told in the Gospels that Jesus knew the trouble he would be facing, but he didn't run from it. Instead, in Luke, we're told that Jesus set his face to go to Jerusalem. I don't think in life that any of us, certainly not many of us, will face the terrible, terrible time that Jesus went through between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. But I do believe that lots of us go from really high experiences where everything's going our way and life is just a bowl of cherries and it's wonderful and the bottom falls out and we're left picking up the pieces. Perhaps as we consider this Easter season, we might consider following the example that we read about in the Gospels. Go to the trouble, go through the trouble, and have the faith, have the faith, that when we come out the other side, things will be brighter and things will be better. As we move into Palm Sunday and into the other days of Holy Week, where many of us will have opportunities for sobering reflections about our faith, let us also hold fast to the knowledge that on the other side of this difficult week, we will be celebrating the joy of Easter. And that's your Minute with Drexel.